Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Maritza. I do vlogs, lifestyle videos, also videos about fashion and home decor. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, please don't forget to subscribe down below. Alright guys, so for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I am going to be doing a what's in my bag video. This is actually one of my favorite videos to make and to actually also watch. I just love watching all of these type of videos here on YouTube. And I actually haven't done one in a while, so I just decided to go ahead and do an updated what's in my bag on my Louis Vuitton Eva clutch. And I'm actually also going to be talking about the bag a little bit more because I actually haven't done a review on this bag on my channel. Alright guys, so before I get started on the what's in my bag video and showing you guys what I have in my bag and the review... I just want to thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel, to all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys were so amazing and just thank you guys all so much for watching my videos and for all of the love and the support you, you give to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. You guys make my days every day. I love reading your comments and I just love, you know, replying back to you guys. And I'm just so happy because my channel just reached 4,000 subscribers. I can't even believe it. Um, I'm just so happy and so thankful to all of you that have subscribed to my channel and have shown my channel support. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really, really appreciate you guys. I just love making videos and filming for you guys and just reading your comments and seeing how many people like my videos. I know 4,000 subscribers isn't really much here in the YouTube world because there's millions of people on here but to me that's a lot of people that's a huge milestone for me and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and all of the love and support you give to me. So for this bag I honestly guys don't even remember how long it's been that I actually bought it. I know it has been at least five to six years that I actually bought this bag and it's still honestly in great condition there is nothing wrong with the bag but before going into detail of the bag i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i have in my bag at the moment so let me just show you guys and i'm just gonna show you guys a quick peek of how it looks in there and honestly this little bag can hold so much it um, honestly can really hold a lot and that's one of the reasons why I do love it and I just love using this because it can hold a lot of things. So um, let me go ahead and get started and show you guys what I have. So I do have this caramel apple that I actually got from a party um, that I actually went to and I just love these. Who else loves these? Let me know in the comment section down below and give this a big like if you guys have actually tried these. These are so, so good. It's the first thing I have in there. Alright, so I also have my MAC Fix Plus Studio Powder just because it does have the mirror and you know we girls have to have a mirror so there it is it's pretty dirty I do actually need to clean it but I do have this in there just in case I do need it or if I just need to use the mirror I will use this so another thing that I have in here are my sunglasses which are actually pretty dirty that I need to actually clean them and I don't have them in their bag. I actually should put them in their bag and just put them in here because I think it will fit with the bag um, with the case but I just have them in there just rolling around which isn't a good idea because they're going to get all scratched up. But let me just show you guys how these look on me but they are dirty. I'm sorry guys this is how they look so they are ray-bans and they are the aviator style this is pretty much my favorite style um, of sunglasses or shades or anything like that um, I do love these and they are the gold with the brown and they just go with everything and I think they are so nice so that's how those look I also have some lipsticks in here. This is actually the one I'm currently wearing. Or actually, no, this is not it. This is number seven uh, from YSL. This is a really pretty, like, pink shade. 
um, and it's really really nice I really love this color but that's not the one that, I, that I'm actually wearing at the moment this is the one I'm actually wearing at the moment which is the number two this is one of my favorite this is like a really soft pink it's like almost nude which I love my nudes that's pretty much what I go for all of the time um, if you guys probably have seen my videos I never really wear bright you know lipsticks and stuff like that which I actually have a ton of but I just never wear them I probably should use them right but I just go always for my nudes which I just really love this one and again this is a YSL and it's a number two so um, I also have my camera lens um, I was actually using this for the past few days and when I'm filming I do like to carry this um, just to cover my lens if I'm not using my camera so I also have my Carmex um, always have to have this because my lips are always chapped this is a must-have in my purse and I also have this little bag here which is for my rings um, I have this pretty much in all of my bags whenever I am carrying them just because if I'm somewhere and I don't want them just you know hanging around my bags um, I just like to put them in this baggie here um, that I got this is for my Cartier ring which I'm actually gonna be doing a review on my ring pretty soon so make sure you guys are stay tuned for that and make sure you guys click on the bell to get notified and I just like to carry it in all of my bags just in case I do need it next thing that I have in my bag is my camera charger so I do actually like to carry this just in case I do actually need an extra battery for my camera um, in case I am filming and my battery runs out. If you guys are wondering, the camera that I actually do use for filming is the Canon M50. So I do actually have everything that I film with and everything down in the description box below. So before you guys head out, make sure you click on the description box so you guys can see everything that I actually do use for filming. I do actually always link it in there. So look if you guys are interested. All right, so another thing that I have in my bag is my little Tiffany and Co perfume and this is actually the one I got um, with my big bottle so that one I actually have in my bedroom but I do like to take this with me in case I do actually need it especially with this heat you guys never know when we do actually need to get a little refreshed or something so I do actually like to carry this um, with me and it's just so cute because it's a little tiny bottle but it's pretty much shaped as the big bottle and I just really love that and it smells so good so pretty much the last thing that I have in my bag guys is my car key and my house key and also my Louis Vuitton key clay which I carry this thing everywhere guys I always take it everywhere because it's so convenient to have since I was actually using my clutch I do actually have to have you know like my ID and debit card and stuff like that um, so I do like to put it in here so that's what I have in here my debit card ID and all of that and I do have some coin in here if you guys can hear that I never carry cash so that's pretty much all I carry um, at all times with me but yeah it holds so much if you guys are interested in purchasing like your first luxury item or piece this is a great thing to have I definitely recommend it to all of you because you guys will see you guys will carry this thing everywhere and the last thing that I have in here is just a headband um, just because I always have to have one of these in here but I always tend to lose them. I never know what happens to these. They disappear or something. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that this happens to. Let me know down below if you guys always are missing these. So yeah, I always have to have at least one in my bag. So that's pretty much everything that I had in my bag, guys. And so now to get into the review of this bag. So for this bag, um, like I mentioned to you guys, I did actually get it about five to six years ago. So it has been a pretty long time that I've actually had this. And I honestly don't think that they actually carry this bag um, in the Louis Vuitton website. I think they did actually discontinue this style. 
I believe the one that they have, which is pretty similar, um, but it's not the same, is the favorite PM, and then they have it, I believe, in the MM, uh, which that would be the largest size, and then the PM is the smaller size. But as far as this same exact bag, I think if you guys are interested in purchasing it or anything like that, you guys would have to get it pre-owned because they actually don't make these anymore. And I just really love it. I think it's just so classy. Like if you guys are just wanting to use it as, you know, with this gold chain that it actually has. It's so pretty. And I think it just is very elegant. If you guys are just wanting to use it for nighttime, um, you guys just can use it with the gold chain. And you can detach this brown strap from it. And it will basically just be a little clutch which I'll show you guys yeah so if you guys remove the strap it will just look like this and it's just so cute to carry you know for like a date night or if you guys are going to the club or something like that this is perfect to actually carry it holds your phone and your debit card credit card and anything that you need so this is how the front of it looks let me just give you guys a closer look to the bag so if you guys can see, hopefully it does actually focus on the bag and not me. But that's how it looks from the front. And then this is how it looks from the back. It does have the Demi Abin print, which is the brown checkered pattern. Uh, when they actually came out with this bag, they actually did uh, come out with it in all of the prints. They did have it in the monogram, in the Demi Azur print, and then in this color. So they did have all three colors. And this one I just really loved because of the dark brown and then just the red interior of this one is so nice. That's pretty much why I fell in love with this one and I had to have this one. And I'm just so happy that I did go for this one because honestly guys, you can't even tell that it's worn. Just the only part, like I mentioned to you guys, um, is this little plaque that it does have because that's just something that unfortunately we can't prevent from happening, getting scratches on the plates. But other than that, it looks like brand new. Let me just show you guys how it looks from the back. So that's how it looks from the back. And from this side, it does have a little opening. So if I close the bag, it does have just like a little opening right here on the side, which that's pretty much not an issue for me. So for this bag, I do love that they gave me the strap and that it actually comes with it because with attaching the strap you can just make it a cross body uh, which is really nice um, if you are a mom because sometimes we need our hands free you know with kids and stuff like that and it's just so convenient that they do actually give the straps with this bag so the only thing with the straps so th this is meant to be cross body so you really can't use it like I can't just put it over my shoulder because it actually will hang really really low on my side but I don't mind because I never wear this or my intention for this bag wasn't to wear it that way um, it was either to wear it crossbody or just with a gold chain that it actually comes with and for the bag it does have the LB right here uh, so hopefully it actually does focus and um, you can see it has the LB on the little on the little zipper here and then it does have it on the straps here as well um, really little but it does actually have it right here and yeah if you guys are interested in ordering it like pre-loved or something I'm pretty sure like you can you guys can probably find it on Poshmark or Real Real, I believe is a website also and Fashion File probably has these. If somebody is actually selling them, you guys can probably find um, the Eva clutch on their website. Yeah, I just really love this little clutch and how much it can hold. But yeah guys, this is pretty much my review for my Louis Vuitton Eva Clutch. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all did enjoy this what's in my bag video and review of my Louis Vuitton Eva Clutch. 
And as always, if you guys did enjoy the video, please don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe.